Hey guys, how are you doing? We are making meatballs for Christmas dinner. So I'm gonna go over the ingredients and then show you how I make them. Now, the name of the game, moist meatballs. Moist, right? So here's how we're gonna do it. First of all, the ratio that I've come up with by reading a ton of recipes is about one slice of fresh bread and like a quarter of a cup, eighth of a cup of milk, or I'm using cream because that's what I have. I didn't wanna buy milk. Tear it up in little pieces, take the crust off, tear it up and put it with your milk cream. Now, I have three pounds. So I did two pounds of ground beef and about pound of ground pork for these meatballs. So that's my meat. So I have three slices of bread and I just soaked it in the cream. Then I have three egg yolks. The yolks are gonna help stick them together and bring a little more moisture and fat to the party. Now, I also added a little red pepper flake. That's just personal preference. And then we're gonna put this in here. I need to get a spatula. Hold it, please. Um, some people use a whole egg. One recipe I was reading says just the yolk. I like the idea. And I'm going for it because there's so little ingredients. I just want to bring as rich ingredients to the party as I can. Then I have a quarter of a cup of grated Parmesan, Parmesan Reggiano, something grated, not the powder. A quarter cup per pound. So I have three quarters of a cup right here of grated cheese. I got this Frigo grated Parmesan, but any grated cheese will work. And then I just took one bunch of fresh parsley and chopped it up. Flat leaf Italian parsley. Why? I don't know. If all you can find is curly, then curly it is. Oh, my watch has been driving me nuts. And now I'm doing three cloves of garlic, right? We need garlic. I am using fresh garlic and I'm using my garlic press. Right, that's what I am using. So I'm gonna put one clove in here and maybe I'll go right into the liquid. So all the garlic juices also go in. Maybe I'm not gonna do it in my press. Ugh. Come on. Why is this not working? There we go. Okay, I'm grating it up. My garlic press doesn't seem to be working very good here, kids. And that makes me sad. So if this doesn't work, I'll get out. Yeah, there we go. All right, so I got my garlic press going. Yeah, it's okay. I'd rather next time use my grater. But for now, that is fine. It's just messy, right? Mm. And I'm also going to add a little olive oil just because my meat is a little lean. And again, this is your own personal preference. Do what you will. Um, and some salt and pepper. This is just a salt and pepper blend. And there we go. Mix it up. You really want to mix it in this so it mixes into your meatballs. Right? You really want to just kind of get everything mixed up. And then we're going to pour it in. And this is going to be the base, the binder, the liquid, the fat. It's bringing everything to the table. Kind of want to have a sink full of soapy water, which I have, and then I go in with my hands. You can use a mixer, you can use a bowl, a spoon, a fork, whatever you like. I just find sometimes it's just easier and gets a better blend if I just get in here with my hands. Also, it's this is freezing cold. I would say let your meat come to room temperature. <laughs> if you want, you don't have to. Now, I am baking. You heard my stove come to temperature. I am baking mine because there's so many. You can fry them. Frying them will definitely bring a different taste 
to the meat, but I'm gonna roast mine in the oven at 350 for about 20 minutes. Take them out, let them cool, and then I'm gonna freeze them because I have a week until Christmas. But I do not wanna be doing this Christmas morning. I wanna be enjoying the weekend. So I'm trying my darndest to get as much done ahead as I can, including grocery shopping, which I did this morning. This also would make a pretty good meatloaf, I think. I mean, meatloaf meatballs are kind of all the same stuff. All right, now, this all looks very well mixed. It smells delicious. If you want to test the flavor of your meatballs before you cook them, take a little piece of it and fry it in a skillet. Take a little piece of the milk, of the meat. Fry it in the skillet and taste it. And they'll know if the, if the ingredients are to your liking or not. I think I saw that on Rachel Ray. Also, I don't know if I'm going to have enough room on this one pan, on this pan. So if not, I have a secondary pan because I'm making a bigger batch than I normally would. Also, I'm not trying to um, make these huge and I'm not trying to pack them down really tight. You want to make them kind of airy. So what I will do is scoop them out and then I'm gonna go back with my hands and roll them up into meatballs. So right now I'm just trying to portion them so they're pretty equal in size, right? So I'm gonna get a, plate, a pan of them going. And then I'm gonna go in and roll them, wash my hands and do it again. All right, so I'll be back right before I put them in the oven. Alrighty guys, here's what the meatballs look like. I have two pans, one is in the oven. It's gonna go in there for about 20 minutes. When it comes out, I'll let them cool and then we're gonna taste them together and then I'm gonna throw them in the freezer so I can bag them up. And then on Christmas day, I will just have to put them in the crock pot with some sauce and let them come back up to temperature and we can be served when everybody gets here. I am still trying to get as much done ahead of time as I can. I also think what I'm going to do is at some point roast this garlic with some olive oil. And you can have it on crackers or on bread. I love garlic and I love it roasted. All right, let's see what we can get done. All right, they're done. I'm going to show you the pan. They're so hot. They just came out of the oven. Now, I don't want these too dark. Because the longer you leave them in the oven, the, the more moisture is going to come out and they're gonna be dry. And we're trying to avoid dry meatballs. And guys, I think we did it. So I cut this in half. Do you see all that juice? So they're fully cooked, 20 minutes, fully cooked This these two batches. The other one's in the oven now. Oh my gosh. Guys. You have got to make those. If you're a fan of the meatball, they're soft, they're flavorful, they're juicy. Oh my God. Cause this is the one thing I do not like is dry meatballs or dry meatloaf. This would be a delicious meatloaf as well. This few simple ingredients were totally worth it. Oh my gosh. And I'm not even mad about the little bit of bread I put in there. Also, it's snowing out. It's so pretty. All right. I hope you enjoy and I will talk with you later. Bye.